Good morning. How are you? Hey, good morning. Where are you? I'm, I'm in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Oh, we're not too far apart. I thought for sure you were in Jersey. I saw the name. I'm like, I was doing Italian accents the whole time. No, I'm here on witness relocation, so it's... Uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, man. So nobody, nobody, nobody ever finds you on on television in Salt Lake City. It's pretty, it's yeah, pretty cut and yeah. dry. Oh, you you go where they least expect, you know. I guess. Yeah. So uh, how are you doing this morning? A lot of weird interviews so far. Uh, you're the first. Yeah, I'm gonna warm up with you, and then I'm gonna be good by five or six in. So you're the guinea pig. Uh, there you go. Yeah, we'll cover all the questions. First of all, uh, congratulations on Turkey Bowl. For this reason. There isn't enough Thanksgiving movies. Right? It's filling quite a, yeah, it's quite a good little hole there. Yeah. Uh, there's Planes, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and Turkey Bowl. Those are the two. <laughs> yeah. Two of the soon-to-be greatest classics of all time. Uh, yeah, and I'm banking on Turkey Bowl to be, uh, 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 as we say in Salt Lake City, a hoot. <laughs> yes. I've, yeah, I've, I think we're going to start saying the same thing in L.A. Things usually start in Utah and progress to LA, so it's gonna be here soon. All, all of the great trends come from here. <laughs> right, um, exactly. You know, I, one, of, one of the things I wanted to, to talk to you about is you're an extremely funny comedian. Oh, um, do you write and produce comedy? I, I, I mean, is that something you do? Um, yeah, you know, I didn't realize uh, it was something I wanted to, you know, it just felt natural to me, but uh, people seem to respond to it, and so, it, it was after I finished a show called Blue Mountain State that I realized, like, maybe I, I want to get my own version of what's in my head out. I did. I started writing and producing a few years ago. So, um, uh, yeah, first, uh, first movie I did was with Lionsgate as well. And, uh, and yeah, I've got, a, I've got another one that I'm almost finished. So, yeah, I, I, I found my, my outlet is not through stand-up. It's, uh, it's, it's through the uh, screenplays. So, yeah, I've started writing screenplays and making movies. But, but there, there's a tremendous literacy uh, uh, that we're lacking, I think, in today's writing. Uh, comedy, you know, w when I was a kid, you know, there was, a, there was a great deal of effort put into the setup, and then the punchline comes later, uh, I think we live in an age where it's set up punchline, set up punchline. So it it's more vignette than it is actual comedy writing. So right, congrat congratulations on that. Oh, thanks, man. I, I really appreciate that. Well, I, I you know obviously like in 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 this case, I I had a lot of help with uh, setting up you know what I need to to work with um, in Greg Coolidge and Kirk Ward's work. Uh, these guys. I really connected with them. I mean, the reason I, I wanted to come on was because of these two guys. Uh, I've, I've followed them and, and known them for a while. This was our first chance to work together. And, you know, it's just sometimes you meet creatives that you just really connect with. And uh, there's a lot of chemistry with these guys. So I think what they gave me was uh, exactly what I needed. It's, you know, it's right in my, my wheelhouse. So uh, Turkey Bowl is all about kind of a lost opportunity, isn't it? It's the game that was never played. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's super nostalgic. I mean, how many people, one, don't want to go back in time, but, you know, to relive, well, not a childhood here. You know, we're a bunch of old men now coming back to, you know, we were, this was like a college game. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's nostalgic and, and, and perfect for this season of the year, uh, the holiday season, because we, you know, we get to watch a group of guys go back and, and relive their former Glory, glory days, if that's what we're going to call them. Or yeah. trying to relive their former trying glory to, yeah, days. Trying, making, yeah. a, making a feeble attempt to. And, and you play Ronnie Best. Tell me a little bit about him. Ronnie Best is the coolest, handsomest, uh, most successful guy on and off camera. Uh, <laughs> no, he's, he's the town villain. He's the guy that you love to hate. Uh, he's... Uh, He's a local realtor, and he's just he's been uh, chomping away at the town and uh, turning turning this little town into his empire. And uh, I I don't know he's just he's just the best um, sort of I think comedic villain. You know you just uh, he's he's the guy you love to hate. Wow, and 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 we're gonna be able to watch this, stream it, and actually see it in the theaters uh, in in the next week or two, right? Yeah, so uh, you know, I think in this day and age, it's good just to get it out there. So we're we're hitting it on all fronts, uh, so people can find it wherever it's easiest for them to enjoy it. And 
uh, really can't come at a better time. Um, and it's really, there's a lot of really good laughs in this. So um, I hope, you know, I, I hope, and I think people will enjoy it. And as as we close, you're you're no stranger to superheroes. You you were Raphael in, in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. And uh, Smallville, you played uh, Arthur Curry, the Aquaman. I did, yeah. And uh, I've I've made a return to DC Comics with uh, my role in uh, as Hawk in Titans, which is. Uh, uh, just renewed for a third season. So um, pretty much anytime somebody needs somebody in spandex in town, I'm the guy. That or Naked Turtle. I, wh- I'll do either, really. You know, I get, a small, I get a small amount of money every couple of months from spandex not to wear yeah. their <laughs> yeah. clothing. Okay. Cut me in on that one. I'd love to start eating again. If you're ever in Salt Lake, come up for Sundance, by the way. We'll, we'll treat you right out here. I, yeah, I'd love to. Uh, maybe next year. Yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations on Turkey Bowl. Stream it, watch it, buy it, go to the movies with your family. Fun little film. Um, got a little language in it, but, uh, you know, nothing we haven't heard. A little language, but, you know, who, who doesn't use a little coarse language around the uh, Thanksgiving table with all the family? You know, yeah, as the old comedians used to say, you're working a you're working a little blue. Is is yeah, is, yeah, uh, exactly. is how... exactly. Anyway, thank you so much for your time this morning. It was it was a great conversation. Thanks. Really nice to meet you, man.